Welcome fellow Vanguard players to Untake Your Nation, my home, your home for all things gaming, all things Card Fight Vanguard Zero. With the recent global release of Card Fight Vanguard Zero, guys, I want to take time to explain how you can get free packs or even maximize how many packs you can get within a month's time of simply just playing the game itself. You can play Zero completely free, and I will point out how many packs you can get from doing dailies, logging in and buying into the season pass and what you will earn with the pass as well as informing you on the differences in packs with and without the pass before we get into that guys please take a moment to smash that subscribe button be sure to click the like button if you like this video and hit the bell for all notifications so you can be notified when we upload a new video also want to thank all the new subscribers who have subscribed to this channel since debuting of card fight vanguard zero on this channel now let's get into it, shall we? Card Fight Vanguard Zero is a completely free-to-play mobile game with in-game microtransactions where you can purchase gems with real-life currency to purchase gacha packs or to use the gems for stamina recovery. I want to break down how you can maximize the amount of packs you get each month provided you only use your gems for pack purchasing and not stamina. First, let's look at the daily quests and simply logging into the game. By logging in each day, you are gifted with a reward from a stamp set by Masaki Tokura. By the end of the week, you can earn a free pack of cards. So for logging in every day of the month, you get free, 4 free packs. Each day at 8am Eastern Standard Time, which is the time that my game resets here in the US, um, new daily missions are posted. Those missions can be anything from go like a deck posted on a board, do a rank fight or simply log in for stamina at a certain time and so forth uh, when you complete the seven daily missions you are rewarded with 30 gems so that's 280 gems a week simply for playing the game or 1120 gems a month which equates to about 11 packs in a month's time now let's talk about packs from story mode while i'm currently grade 27 i can't say with certainty that each grade you complete you do get a free pack of cards so that's 30 free packs just for completing the campaign. There are also ticket vouchers you can get for completing each mission in the story chapters. Another way to get gems easily is by doing the training missions under the menu. There are 15 training missions to complete and each rewards 20 gems for completing. So in total you will get 3 packs for doing these simple quests. And while the story and training are one time rewards, this is another way to get free packs and I just wanted to help point that out to you guys. Moving on, we get into the VP Season Pass. The pass requires a purchase of $12 a season, so this is the only part of the guide that is not free to play. However, with the pass each day you log in, you will receive 50 free gems, and that equates to 7 packs a season, or 14 packs in a month. So simply log in and boom, you're just accumulating packs every day. The goal of the VP Pass is to earn rewards for playing the game, whether it be character fight, story, or rank fights. Your points cap at, at 1.3 million, so if you click on the VP icon, you can see the rewards listed for each milestone until you cap. If you complete the reward pass before the season ends, you can earn a total of 18 packs, or a total of 36 packs in a month's time. Now let's contrast and compare completely free to play versus investing in the VP pass each season. With a weekly reward stamp, that's 4 packs a month. For completing daily missions, that's 11 packs in gems a month, plus 11 packs in vouchers a month, for a total of 26 free packs every month. If we look at the VP pass, and assuming you complete the rewards in the season, you will earn a total of 50 packs total for the VP itself. This is not including the free to play portion. So if we couple the free to play portion of 26 packs with the VP rewards you can earn close to 76 packs a month. As you can see, there is a substantial difference in free to play versus investing in the free or the VP pass. What I did not include in the monthly packs is the story mode and training mode gems, as again those are one time rewards so this does not include your first initial login of the game for creating a new account either. Guys, that's it for this video. I do hope that this video was helpful and informal for you and maybe helped you to decide which way you actually want to play Card Fight Vanguard Zero. If there is anything I left out or maybe I might have missed, please feel free to leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts, guys. I hope you continue to enjoy Card Fight Vanguard Zero. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay healthy, stay strong, and stand up, my Vanguard!